Hi, Todd with Custom Craigslist, and in this video, we're going to be using Google Drawings with the Shapes tool to make a picture frame background. And we're going to use an image and add a border around an image, and also include some uh, contact information. So this is a real basic ad based, you know, around the uh, real estate theme. And if this is the first time watching one of my videos, please look under the description and look where it says start here first and watch that video first. So with that said, let's get started. So we're in Google Drawings. I'm going to go to the Shapes tool. You could find it here or you could go to Insert Shape. I'm going to pick this bevel. I'm going to bring it to the corner and I'm going to just drag it all the way down. And up on the top is a little yellow diamond and click on that. As you can see you could drag the bevel to how as thin or as thick as you want. So I'm going to bring it back like so because I'm going to make a picture frame out of here. And now go to this this paint bucket fill color I'm going to pick purple like so now I'm going to add an image in the center here so now I'm going to go to the image icon where you go to insert image now I'm going to drag an image that I've saved right here and this is from my computer of a home, so I'll do a home uh, for home for sale. So now that I have this, I'm going to go to shapes again. I'm going to go to the rectangle, and now I'm just going to drag this rectangle over this image, just like so. So we're going to make a border for this image. So now I want to make the border white, so I'm going to go to the paint bucket, select white, and now this border is selected because the, it's, it's highlighted here. I'm going to go to Arrange, Order, Send Backwards. So when you send backward, it's going to send one behind. If you send two back, it's going to send it in back of everything. So I'm going to set put send backward. Now you can see we created a border here. If you select the border and hold the shift key down and then select the image, now you have both these selected at the same time, the image and the border. Now if you go to arrange and hit group, now you've made those one item. So now you could drag it around to where you want to go. So now I want to put a headline across here. And so instead of the text, I'm going to go to Insert Word Art and type in Home for Sale. Click Enter. And the Word Art lets you have a border uh, around uh, your, your um, text. So here I'm going to make it text red and I'll just leave the border black. But here you could change the border if you like. Blue. But I'm going to leave it black and then you could select if you want it dark. Like so. You can make it as dark as you want. But I'm going to leave it on 2. And of course if you ever mess up you could always hit undo so if you want to get, take a step back and redo now I'm going to put some just some text at the bottom here so some maybe some contact information so I'm going to go to shapes the rectangle and I'm just going to drag the rectangle down to the bottom and the color Come up here. I'm going to make a lighter, lighter color. 
And now I'm going to add some text in here. Hit the text box, bring it down here. Now I have written out some text already, which is handy if you do it on a um, some, some sort of word editor. So I'm going to grab my text and I'm just going to highlight it, copy it, and paste it right in here. Hit enter. Now I'm going to drag it out. Make it bold. Make it a little bit, maybe a little bit bigger. Drag this out. And now you could actually use, you could drag this if you want your, with your mouse, or you could use your arrow keys and shift it around. And you can do that with images as well. And also, right now it's the alignment is defaulted to the center so if you wanted to go to the left you click here and that'll shift it to the left or to the right but I'm gonna leave it on the center so there's an uh, image an image ad with text and some contact information with a nice little border and from here again we go to file download as and PNG. Now I'm not going to walk you through the steps of uploading it that is in the first video and you can find that link in the description under start here first. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.